Hi guys, I'm going to show you today how to tie dye. Never done it before myself, so wish me luck. You should have had boxes dropped off. If you haven't, then I bought these from the works. You get two for £10 or shucks. All the instructions are in the box, but I'm going to do a quick video on how to do it anyway. In the box you'll get your bottles of tie dye. You need to soak your bag in your sodium, you get your bag in the box and you get your elastic bands and your gloves which are important to wear. So I'm just soaking my bag in the sodium crystals, I'm just doing it in my sink. Um, so if you add the crystals to your sink, you've got to soak your bag for 20 minutes before you do the tie dye. Be careful you don't get this in your eyes because it could cause irritation. There's a warning on the leaflet, you could read that. And if you fill your little tie-dye balls full of cold water and give them a good shake. So 20 minutes later, once you've rinsed your bag, and if you lay it on a surface, I've got a bag down that's so when I start to dye it, my table doesn't get wrecked. So if you lay your bag flat, and what you have to do is you have to, where you want it to start, you pinch the middle and you twist it like this. You pinch it and then twist it. And you just keep twisting. Round and round. The handles in there as well. Until you've got something that looks like that. Grab on your elastic bands that come in the kit and then put it around it like this so it stays in position. Yeah. You could use two if you think that's going to fall out of there, which mine does, so I'll stick another one on. It doesn't have to be perfect because the whole point in tie dye is it's going to look a bit funky, isn't it? So it should look like a twist like that. And then you get your elastic bands, you've got a whole packet of them, and you cross them over one that way. And one the opposite way. Like that. I'm going to do it on another one. This way. See how it's going like a star? And I'm going to do another one this way. So that's basically giving you the lines that you're going to put each colour in. Yes. Tell if it was in the camera. And now this is the fun part. So if you get your gloves on, make sure you've got something down so you don't dye your whole house. <clears throat> get your dye. Whatever colour you want to start with. I'm going to do different colours each bit. So I'm going to start with red. And then you just start dipping it on. You see that it's starting to move on to the other sides, but that's fine. The red there. Do the, well, I think it's supposed to be pink, but yeah, pink here. Here, whatever you want, whatever design you want to do, do some yellow here. Oh, hopefully, you don't do that. Yellow here. Do 
these are a nightmare to golf the gloves on. Yeah, some blue here. And then you want to turn it around. Oh, that's messy. Let's put it on the other side. Doesn't matter if they all get mixed up. And as you can see, I'm just sticking it on any old way. Make sure it's all covered though, <clears throat> on both sides, as you can see. And what you want to get is a carrier bag. And stick it in a carrier bag. And we'll wrap it up. And then you're going to leave it to set for at least six hours or longer. The longer you leave it, the darker the colours will be. So, I'll be back in six hours. Look at that mess. So, it's been six hours. I have taken the elastic bands off. And now you've got to rinse it with lukewarm water until the water runs clear.